Oh, it totally looks like I'm naked. I'm not naked though. See, I go like like that. No, forget it. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys don't think I'm naked. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to another edition of Closet Talks. I'm Amira from Four Hats of Frugal. Uh, today, I'm actually doing a video response, which I've never done before. But uh, I recently watched Jenna Marbles. I don't know if you guys know Jenna Marbles. If you're on YouTube, you should know Jenna Marbles. She's um, hilarious. Anyway, she uh, put up a video about girl crushes. And it was so funny, and I caught myself nodding my head quite a bit to it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video response to that for Closet Talks. So Jenna made a point of saying that there's nothing wrong with girl crushes. If you're a girl and you have a girl crush, that's just the way it goes. Every girl has some type of girl crush, whether they want to admit it or not. And even dudes have man crushes, even though they don't want to admit that. They do. Um, but I thought it was pretty funny because uh, this week... Actually, last week, last Sunday, was the last day of Type A Parent Conference in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it was my first time going, and um, I thought it was pretty funny that I was watching that video because I have, you know, extreme girl crushes on certain bloggers that were there. I actually made a top 10 list of the bloggers that I wanted to meet while I was there, and I got to meet 7 out of the 10, which is pretty good for an introvert like me, um, but... I just thought that was pretty funny because the way she was talking about being a fangirl and everything, and I actually posted, I put up a post about me being a fangirl of Type A now, and it just, I was like, well, I do have girl crushes on some of these people. I love to read their blogs. Um, some, you know, I love to see what funny things they have to say about certain things, what serious things they have to say, and meeting them in person, I pretty much geeked out. And I just, that was my girl crush. That was the equivalent of a girl crush. So, um, I don't know. For example, um, I met Redneck Mommy. She's, well, her name is Tannis. She's from Attack of the Redneck Mommy. It's theredneckmommy.com. Uh, she is just as cool in person as she is on her blog, which was fantastic. And she has wonderful red hair and she wears glasses. So it was like, Check mark, check mark, check mark. <laughs> Those are all my little girl crush things. So, and um, she just writes so beautifully, and I just kind of geeked out meeting her. I didn't even talk to her about her writing. I talked to her about her Instagram pictures because I had to force myself to say something. And I love her Instagram pictures. Anytime she puts them up, they make me laugh. So I talked to her about that. And I geeked out. I was like, she was, she's a genuine girl crush. I think every time I see her if I get to see her on the conference circuit from now on I will geek out every time and I'm not afraid of saying that I know I will I'm gonna geek out um and there was just there's so many and I just and I created even more girl crushes on bloggers that I had met for the first time of bloggers that I've talked to online quite a bit and I finally met them in person they were so fantastic like Anne from notasupermom.com I love Anne. I've always loved her online, but meeting her in person, she's just, she's amazing to me, and she's hilarious, and she's smart, and now I have a girl crush on her, and I told her, it's like, I'm your new fangirl, so just accept it. Every time I see you, you're gonna get a big giant hug. Um, and, you know, it's, everybody has a girl crush, whether it's somebody famous, or someone, you know, you love to read their work, whether it's on a blog or in a book or, you know, we all have girl crushes and I don't see the problem of admitting that. You know, mine is, my famous one's Rihanna, which is an obvious one, but I love her. I think she's fantastic. She's boozy. She says the wrong, wrong things all the time and she's from the island, so she doesn't really care and she wears fantastic clothes and she makes music that makes me want to move my booty. Bounce, booty, bounce. Okay, <laughs> but she does, and I love her. I I think I love her forever. And Janet Jackson's always been my girl crush forever and ever, ever since I was little. Still is. She's fantastic. But anyway, I digress. I just wanted to say that um, you know, it's okay to have a girl crush, and I'm so glad that Jenna Marbles put up that video because it inspired me to tell you guys about my girl crushes, blogger wise or famous wise. 
<laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you for the next Closet Talks. Bye.